ABL Hoopla with Dale Clark and Monique Bowling. Hello and welcome to ABL Hoopla. Well, it's Olympics, it's finals time, Australia's winning gold, there's close finishes galore in the State League basketball. What more can you ask for? Well, Saturday night presents us with a feast of sports entertainment. USA versus Spain in the Olympic basketball, the 100 metre sprint in the athletics, and most importantly, the Central ABL Grand Finals. So what to watch then? Well, the 100 metre sprint isn't on until midnight. The USA versus Spain match, well, who knows how much Channel 7 are going to show of that. We might get to see LeBron James do a layup perhaps and then a, a cross back to the hockey or the equestrian. So in short, get along to the dome. Sturt versus North in the women's at 6.15 and Forestville versus Norwood in the men's grand final at 8.15. Well, regular listeners of ABL Hoopla will know it's usually Monique Bowley and her sidekick myself taking you through the latest in the ABL world. But this week, well, it's just the sidekick, just myself. So let's get on to the men's grand final, Forestville versus Norwood. Forestville won the semi-final two weeks ago by 15 points. I spoke with Rupert Sapro during the week and asked him about the task in front of him of turning around that deficit to produce a championship for the Flames. Uh, yes, it is a fair task, and yes, it can be done. I think uh, the biggest difference in the game that we played two weeks ago was uh, that we just had a, an atrocious start. And you know, mostly due to our system and partly due to their pressure, I think they put excellent uh, ball pressure on you and make you do things you don't want to do. Uh, we got sucked into that a little bit, so part of the um, you know, this uh, preparation coming into this game has been you know, learning how to deal with uh, what is pretty good pressure. And that, you know, they've got five or six guys all shooting above 35% from the three point line, so they've got a very well rounded team. They've always got a, uh, a very good assist to turnover ratio. So you know, for us to win this game, we've got to play our normal defense and not let you know, give up a 30 point or 34 point quarter like we did the first quarter of the last time we played them. Uh, and then, you know, to be able to score some points. What was Saturday night like playing with, uh, you had the Panther Army down one end and the stadium full of Norwood and Norwood's juniors down the other. It must have been a, a fun game. Yeah, it really point. was. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, fun afterwards anyway. You know, it was just an unbelievable atmosphere. I think South ought to be congratulated for, uh, you know, the way they played the game and, and their, their fans played, you know, barracked as hard as they played. It was just a, you know, a very, very good final style game in terms of the the atmosphere you know, the quality of the game was horrendous but the, the the quality of the atmosphere was fantastic best probably the best one i've been in. this time last year you had a um a convincing loss to north in the grand final does something like that strengthen the team or is it is it a weakness that you have to overcome or uh, a bit of both i think uh you know it unraveled us mentally a little bit um not for the fact that we lost our confidence that the you know, we were just so angry that we we saved our worst game in three years for that most important game, and uh, you know it was not through lack of energy or effort, uh, but just you know we tended to get distracted and lose our game plan, and and that I think was weight of expectation more than um, uh, inability to perform. So I think this year because we're going in as an underdog, uh, you know I don't think there is a, a whole lot of pressure there. Uh, you know, at least internally, uh, to be able to get things done. So that should, you know, loosen things up a little bit for us. And if we can execute some of the um, the structural changes that we've made, uh, I think they'll go a long way towards, you know, doing something well for us. Oh, well, good luck, all the best, and let's hope it's a, a big game. Yeah, thanks, Dave. There he is, a man on a mission. They lost last year. Can they go one better this year? I think not. My tip: Forest Hill to win this one by six points. Now, the women's game also carries a strong favourite in Sturt, which is on an eight-game winning streak. They beat North by a whopping 27 points two weeks ago, and now they meet again. Surely Sturt will cruise to the state title. Well, North Adelaide coach and 1992 Olympian Mike Mackay disagrees. Oh, well, look, you know, we just, we just take it that every game's different. Um, yes, they, you know, they've given us a touch-up all year, so... Um, you know, like I said, we've had a, a really good week at training. Um, you know, we had a great game against Forestville and uh, and also Nord. So, you know, I think our confidence is, is up there. And you know, grand finals are a whole different story. You know, we only need to beat them once. Yeah. And if it's if it's this week, you know, that'd be great. Yeah. You've got players like um, Joe, who obviously Tanya Jew, that have got plenty of finals experience. Do you, do you expect them to take a bit of a lead in 
Well, you yeah, you'd, you'd sort of be expecting the, the senior players to, to step up a little bit and, and lead the way for the for the juniors. Um, and that's that's probably been the, the most pleasing thing about this year is that uh, you know, we are a very young side and for us to achieve uh, what we've done so far is uh, is exceptional. Um, but like I said to the girls, we've got one more game to go, and uh, and hopefully I suppose it can be a bit of a, a fairy tale uh, fairy tale ending to the year for us. So you haven't been cert all year, is that correct? No, that's right. Uh, yeah. what, what's got to change? Do you think from those? Is there anything that you've pinpointed that um, went wrong in those games? We just got to make sure that uh, you know we play defence as a team, and um, you know we. Renee's going to get her points. Um, you know, she's just such a quality player. And then you know, you've, you've got the Bowley sisters you know, all coming at us as well. And, um, and Emma Langford heard us last time that we played as well. So you know, we've addressed those situations and, and maybe what we need to, to do defensively. Um, I think it's going to come down to defence. And I think the team that plays the, the better defence will hopefully get the win on the night. Um, the last time you were involved on grand final day in State League would have been uh, your last season with North. There's yep. still a bit of pain that you'd like to get rid of there in the form oh, of coaching? Oh, definitely. I think uh, any time you step into a, into a final, and especially grand final, you've got those memories keep you know come flooding back of, of when you were last involved as a player and, and that as well. So, uh, look, if we can rectify that and, and get another one for the North Adelaide Rockets, um, you know, that, that's what we aim to do and that's what we've been planning to do all week. Yep. Now, in the uh, spirit of the Olympics, the Boomers have been struggling a bit the last few games. Do you ever sort of sit back, get the old boomer singled out and tell them where they're going <laughs> wrong this week? Or? I've, watched a, you know, I've watched a little bit of, of their games and um, yeah, it's, it's, I think because there was so much hype about, about that team that uh, you know, they have fallen, fallen down a bit but you know, hopefully they can get their stuff together and, and keep progressing through it but uh, yeah, I don't know, I think they just need to get a little bit more grunt about them I think. Yeah. No Alright, thanks very much for your time and good luck this week. Not a problem, thank you. There he is, the former Boomer. My tip there, Joe Hill to do a defensive job on Rene Camino, but Sturt to win by two points. Well, in wrapping up, here's everyone's favourite segment, our weekly Slam and Sham. The Slam for this week goes to the Panther Army. Anyone at Nor- at uh, Mars on Saturday night would have seen them. The South support cast was absolutely sensational. Chants, drums, the lot. Let's hope we see them again in action next year. There's some great photos of the cheer squad on the Messenger website, so have a look at those, check them out. And the sham, the sham for this week, just a quick one, Channel 7's shafting of the boomers during the Olympics. Well, that's it for Season 2008 from AVL Hoopla. On behalf of myself and Monique, thanks very much for tuning in. It's been great fun. So get out there this Saturday. It is going to be a massive night. See you next time.